have good health care? Lately, I've heard that we Americans get terrible care, that in Canada, Britain, even in Cuba, people get much better care. Hello? In his new hit documentary, Sicko, Michael Moore takes some sick Americans to Cuba. On the way to Cuba, where all is happy. Check out the music he plays in the movie. Cuba, where all is gay. All is happy and gay? Uh, actually, not everybody is happy, and not everyone is gay. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. Uh, having said that, they've done a few things right. Moore's movie claims socialized medicine, that is, government-run medicine, is great. And it's why Cubans get better care than Americans. They believe in preventative medicine, and it seems like there's a doctor on every block. When Moore's group arrived, they were taken to a special section of this showcase hospital. I asked them to give us the same exact care they give their fellow Cuban citizens. No more, no less. And that's what they did. Do you really think that's what they did? Oh, I know that's what they did. It's an average hospital. I mean, they have, yes, they have a clinic in every neighborhood in Cuba. This isn't just me saying this, you know. All the World Health Organizations or whatever have confirmed that if there's one thing they do right in Cuba, it's health care. And, and there's very little debate uh, uh, about that. Oh, there's plenty of debate. These films that try to portray the health care in Cuba as being superior, they are lacking in providing truth. Cuban-born human rights advocate Dr. Jose Caro says Moore's movie tells lies. And there are plenty of pictures like these smuggled out of Cuba that tell a different story. A story of dilapidated hospitals with bleak rooms where patients have to hang clothes to dry on the windows. Filthy conditions, floors covered with bugs, patients who are neglected, some who starve. George Utset, who writes the anti-Castro website, TheRealCuba.com, says Moore and his group were taken to a part of this hospital that's reserved for the privileged. Elites, he says, get special treatment. They don't go to the hospital for regular Cubans. They go to hospital for the elite. And uh, it's, you know, very different condition. One Cuban doctor told us, we are crazy with desperation for lack of health care. This YouTube clip posted by a woman from Venezuela shows the two forms of health care in Cuba. This one for the privilege to pay in dollars, and this one, pharmacies with empty shelves for regular Cubans. They live at least a month longer uh, than we do. Moore claims that because Cubans get such good health care, they live longer. And it is true that a UN report claims that they live longer. But the UN didn't gather any data itself. The United Nations simply reports whatever the government in Cuba reports. Exactly. Communist countries are famous for hiding the truth. So why today would we believe the Cuban government's statistics? Cuba claims it has low infant mortality. But doctors tell us the data is misleading, because when there might be problems, they just abort the fetus. I personally used to do 70 to 80 abortions a day. They told me I should end the pregnancy. Yanit Sanchez says doctors told her her fetus had signs of Down syndrome and should not be born. It was my very first pregnancy. I wanted to have the child. And there is something else they do. Some doctors say if a child dies a few hours after birth, they don't count it as ever having lived. It changes the number even though the same number of children may be dying or more. Why would we believe these comparisons? All the independent health organizations in the world, and even our own CIA, uh, believes that the Cubans have a pretty good health system, and they do, in fact, live longer than we do. But when we called the CIA, they said, we never said that Cuba has a pretty good health system or that they live longer. In fact, the CIA says Americans average 78 years of life versus 77.1 in Cuba. Again, the data that does say Cubans live longer comes straight from the Cuban government. Why believe what they say about how no, long you know, people but, live? Uh, can I, not to direct your interview here, but you know, Cuba, you know Cuba's the red herring. Let's stick to Canada and Britain and this stuff, because I think these are legitimate arguments that are made against the film and against the, the so-called idea of socialized medicine. And I think you should challenge me on these things, and, and, and uh, I'll give you my answer. Okay, next week on 2020, we'll do just that. We'll spend the entire hour on health care. And I'll fight with Michael Moore about what works best. The private sector does everything better because they compete. Private sector does everything better? You are like so 13th century. I love this. <laughs>
government was good. That's next week. We call it Whose Body Is It Anyway? Sick in America. We'll be right back.